What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ and Mike. And deep behind the orange curtain, it's time for the CIF Boys Water Polo Semifinals and the Long Beach Wilson Bruins are in the building. Bruins facing a very good Murrieta Valley Nighthawks team at the Woollett Aquatic Center in Irvine. Yeah, Eric Vogelzang and the boys hoping to ride that more league championship for a chance to play for another championship here in Division 2, whereas the Nighthawks also coming off a league championship. They're 11th straight, actually, and they are the number one seed in this bracket for a reason, a powerful water polo team. But in the early going, it was all Bruins, or more specifically, all Bruins defense, as Brandon DeSaw comes up with the steal on the first play. DeSaw has anchored that great Bruin defense all season long. They had five steals in the first quarter tonight. Those steals leading to the breakout and on the counterattack, T-Mart doing his thing. Coach's son going short side for an early goal here. He did that twice in the first quarter to start the scoring and then with the lob shot gets the hat trick and gives Wilson a 5-1 lead in the first quarter. Pretty shot when that falls. Yeah, it's, it's one of the prettiest. Ladies and gentlemen, fastest reflexes in Long Beach right there, Noah LeBeau. However, the exclusion was the name of the game. Yeah, five exclusions on Wilson. Marietta Valley scores on their fifth man up of the half. Well, they scored these two right there just with ball movement, and that's how you beat a team, a man down. Marietta doing it like you draw it up, and Wilson goes to halftime up just one goal, 5-4 after that early lead. In the second half, just some incredible water polo from both sides. Yeah, definitely both teams feeling the semifinal atmosphere. A great passing and a great score there for Smith. Yeah, Smith gets one, then Bogelzang gets one. Wilson still in the lead. However, with LeBeau still playing solid in the back. Did I say something about exclusions earlier? <laughs> Yeah, uh, a huge one right there on Vogelzang. That was the 10th on the Bruins for the night. Takes their top score out of the game. I don't even, I've never even seen that before. An where offensive exclusion? I, an offensive exclusion when the ball's just floating in the water. I don't get it. Anyways, the guy Vogelzang would have been marking gets the ball right here and scores. That's Trent Virgil. And then on the next trip down the pool, again, 10 Virgil with his second goal. That ties the ball game, eventually giving Marietta the lead. I don't know how that's not a, an exclusion or, or a five meter or something. Martineau doing his best to keep his team in it, going short side for the third time of ties the night. Ties it at eight. That ties it at eight, but however, Weatherby with a huge score right there. Cody had a team high three goals. And then this one, a very aggressive steal, effectively ends the game as Marietta is able to run out the clock and advance to the championship game. Still a great season for the Bruins. Coach Martineau said it after the game. Expected to be kind of a down year for Wilson, but exceeded all expectations. Got further than they'd been in uh, several years getting to the semifinals for this one. Congratulations to that team. A fantastic season for all that more league coverage. No matter the sport, you stay right here, gazettesports.com.